crowds primarily, waiting in line, um, missing a flight, security lines. It's all the things we hate about flying during holiday season. Taking my shoes off so I can uh, walk through security. But you have to get to the airport so many hours earlier now, so you're rushed, you're out of time, and then uh, inevitably something like your shaving cream, they, they confiscate that. Strict security, long lines, canceled flights. It's enough to drive not just travelers, but airport workers crazy. I deal with passengers just shouting at you for no reason. And if we have a cancellation, sometimes we can't put them anywhere else, you know, and we try to do the best we can. Short patience and hot tempers can turn into disastrous situations in the middle of a crowded airport. I thought customers wanted to smack me too. When, the, when a traveler is stressed, they displace that on to, to the worker. The one is calm. Aviation consultant Tom Murphy professes he has the solution to diffusing those high stress situations, at least partially. We give them four resiliency traits to work with, and we give them a chance to identify their strengths in those areas to be able to handle the pressures that they're feeling from the travelers who are pressured. Would you like to go, sir? Through a program he calls Resiliency Edge, Murphy teaches airport workers how to put themselves in travelers' shoes. It's a simple concept that's hard to remember during the holiday bustle. Sometimes you know it, but just having it right at the tip of your your fingertips helps. Tone of voice goes a long way, and like you said, eye contact, a little bit of niceness really does go a long way. And perhaps if more travelers put themselves in workers' shoes, we may really see a change in airport flare-ups. Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press, New York.